President Trump made up another weird thing about a foreign country while attacking a retired admiral for not getting Osama bin Laden sooner. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. Whether you believe Donald Trump colluded with Russia or not, whether you consider him a threat to democracy or not, one thing I think everyone can agree on is that he is weird. <laughs> he is a weird man. Just a flag-hugging, umbrella-ditching, can't-do-a-normal-handshake kind of weirdo. And one of the weird little things about Donald Trump's presidency is that every few months or so, he concocts a bizarre lie about another country. And then everyone in that country has to figure out what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> Remember when he did it to Sweden last year? You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. Now, those words about Sweden sparked a quick backlash from officials in that country who wanted to know what he was talking about because there was no attack in Sweden the previous night. This was front page news here on Monday. It's also been the subject of a significant amount of ridicule online and just people you talk to here making jokes. You know, what was Donald Trump referring to last night when he spoke on Saturday? Jokes like, hey, did somebody take all our Swedish meatballs? Okay. Okay, but please don't joke about it, because then Trump will think you're serious and start repeating that, too. <laughs> Immigrants are sneaking into Sweden and stealing their meatballs, folks. <laughs> and it's very upsetting to their celebrity chefs. <laughs> he called me last night. He called me on the phone last night, and he said, and these are his exact words. He said to me, smorgity borgity borgity bor. <laughs> And you know, it's so true. I said, it's so true. <laughs> Seriously, you know it's bad when even the Swedes are mocking us. This would be like Ikea changing their instructions to this. <laughs> then Trump, Trump did it again in September when he went to the U.N. and said something about Germany that was so detached from reality, even the German delegation couldn't help but laugh at him. Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy if it does not immediately change course. Here in the Western Hemisphere, we are committed to maintaining our independence from the encroachment of expansionist foreign powers. Not only are these dudes laughing, but look at this lady's face. She doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, and she's from a country where this is a real word. <laughs> and then there's one of Trump's weirdest recurring lies, that he has a friend in Paris who keeps telling him that Paris is no longer Paris. I have a friend. Every year he goes to Paris. I haven't seen him in a while. Paris, oh, the city of lights, he's told me for years. Paris, Paris. I see him, like, a month ago. How was Paris this summer? Oh, I don't go to Paris. Are you kidding me? I have a friend who used to go to Paris. Love Paris. I said to him recently, how was Paris this summer? He said, we don't go to Paris. He said, Paris is no longer Paris, which is obviously true. I have a friend. He's a very, very substantial guy. He loves the City of Lights. He loves Paris. And I said, Jim, let me ask you a question. How's Paris doing? Paris? I don't go there anymore. Paris is no longer Paris. I feel like what happened here is Trump went to Paris, met a mime, and misinterpreted what he was saying. <laughs> my friend, my friend Jim told me immigrants are climbing. They're climbing into Paris trying to, they're trying to pull. <laughs> the police are trying to pull them out, but they can't. And that's why, you know, they need, you know, they need a wall. I'd rather talk to a mime than an American who calls it Paris. <laughs> He's telling me Paris, Paris. <laughs> so if you're keeping track, Trump has made up a fake terror attack in Sweden, claimed Germany was captive to Russia, and said Paris just doesn't exist anymore. And Trump did it again over the weekend when he traveled to California to survey damage from the wildfires there. He made a very strange claim about how they prevent forest fires in Finland. Watches our deeply weird president 
stands awkwardly next to the current and incoming governors of California and rambles incoherently like he just overdosed on Sudafed. I'm committed to make sure that we get all of this uh, cleaned out and protected. Got to take care of the floors, you know, the floors of the forests. Very important. You look at other countries where they do it differently, and, and it's a whole different story. I was with the president of Finland, and he said, we have uh, a much different, we're a forest nation. He called it a forest nation. And they spent a lot of time on raking and cleaning and doing things, and they don't have any problem. And when it is, it's a very small problem. So uh, I know everybody's looking at that, to that end, and uh, it's going to work out. It's going to work out well. Look at everyone else trying not to look at him. <laughs> they all look like parents at the grocery store whose toddler just said, Daddy, that lady is fat. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you didn't know Trump was president, you'd think he was a weirdo who just walked up to them from his trailer in the woods. He should be covered in leaves and holding a giant walking stick. <laughs> you gotta rake the floors! You gotta rake the floors of the forest. <laughs> That's what my friend Nutty the Squirrel told me. Isn't that right, Nutty? <laughs> also, can we go back to this real quick? You gotta take care of the floors, you know, the floors of the forest. Why does he call it the floor of the forest? It's the ground. Does he also call the sky the ceiling of the earth? The more he talks, the clearer it is that he has never been outside. These wildfires, they're so... The floor is filthy. Now we gotta mop it up. We'll also be replacing these wood columns with steel beams, and as you can see, the roof is, you know, it's gone. <laughs> and of course, once again, once again, as happened, as happened with Sweden, Germany, and Paris, the president of Finland had to come out and publicly clarify that he did not, in fact, tell Trump that people in his country rake the floors of the forest. The president of Finland says he did discuss the California wildfires with President Trump, but he doesn't quite recall the conversation the same way. He said they did talk about California's wildfires and some of the ways that Finland maintains the forest, but raking did not come up. It keeps happening. Trump makes up something insane about another country, and then the president of that country has to come out and say it's not true. We're like a week away from the president of Romania calling a press conference to say, I did not tell President Trump that vampires are real. <laughs> and again. And again, just as the Germans laughed at us and the Swedes made fun of us, the Finnish people are now mocking Trump's comments on social media. Like this woman who tweeted, just an ordinary day in the Finnish forest <laughs> with a picture of herself vacuuming the ground outside. Can we mad? That's pretty good. That's very good. Can we see, can we see real quick the German reaction to that? There you go. They like it. <laughs> Trump has to concoct fantastical lies like this because they reinforce his deluded worldview and they're easier to swallow than reality. And in this case, the reality is that man-made climate change is making these fires more frequent and extreme. But Trump would rather make up an insane fantasy about firefighters raking forest floors that admit that climate change is having deadly real-world consequences. Just watch this exchange from an interview Fox News aired over the weekend. I was watching the firemen the other day, and they were raking areas. They were raking areas where the fire was right over there, and they're raking trees, little trees like this that are nut trees, little bushes that you could see are totally dry. Weeds. And they're raking them. They're on fire. That should have been all raked out. What about the up. argument? You wouldn't have the fire. What about the argument it's climate change, that it's drier, it's hotter, and that that's contributing to it? Uh, maybe it contributes a little bit. The big problem we have is management. You need forest management. It has to be. I'm not saying that in a negative way, a positive. I'm just saying the facts. And I've really learned a lot. No, you haven't. <laughs> though, though, in fairness, if you don't know anything, and then you learn one thing, it seems like a lot.
The president... The president is a conspiracy theorist who makes up cartoonish lies about everything from wildfires to immigration. And when you call him out, he attacks you. Just take retired Admiral William McRaven, a Navy SEAL who oversaw the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. McRaven has criticized Trump's attacks on the press, and in return, Trump decided to insult him. Bill McRaven, retired Admiral, Navy SEAL, 37 years, former head of U.S. Special Operations. Hillary Clinton fan. Special Operations. Excuse me, command, Hillary Clinton fan. Who led the operations, commanded the operations that took down Saddam Hussein and that killed Osama bin Laden, says that your sentiment is the greatest threat to democracy in his okay. lifetime. Okay, he's a Hillary Clinton uh, backer uh, and an Obama backer. And frankly, he was a Navy SEAL wouldn't it have been nice if we got Osama bin Laden a lot sooner than that? You're attacking him for not getting bin Laden sooner? Oh, because I totally could see you charging in there in your hat, your windbreaker, <laughs> swinging a rake like it's a sword. Where are you? Osama! Osama! I'm gonna... I'm gonna rake your floors. Trump then went on to claim that it was obvious to everyone where bin Laden was hiding and also found a way to work in a very strange dig at Bin Laden's compound. Think of this. Living in Pakistan, beautifully in Pakistan, in what I guess they considered a nice mansion. I don't know. I've seen nicer. Man, you can make this idiot a president and everything still comes back to real estate. It's in a little neighborhood in the middle of Pakistan. I call it Midpack. <laughs> the Midpacking District. Trump. Only Donald Trump can make himself feel better by implying he has a nicer house than Osama bin Laden. <laughs> bin Laden is already one of the most hated evil people in the history of human civilization. You're not, like, burning him by saying he has a crappy house. <laughs> Who's Trump gonna go after next? You know, people make fun of my hair, but it's much nicer than the Unabomber's. We have a president who concocts outlandish lies and spreads baseless conspiracy theories and attacks anyone who calls him out, and all the while, the rest of the world laughs at us, from Finland to Germany to... Sweden! <laughs> this has been a closer look.